Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lit code problem number 20, valid parenthesis. In this problem, we are given a string S, which contains just the characters that are equal to opening uh, parenthesis, closing parenthesis, opening braces, closing braces, opening bracket and closing bracket. So we'll have uh, these characters and we need to determine if the input string is valid so in what case is the input string valid um, so it is valid if open bracket is closed by the same type of bracket and open bracket must be closed in the correct order every closed bracket has a corresponding open bracket of the same type so let's see what does that actually mean okay so i'm going to use text here so let's suppose we have this bracket right so the this is opening parenthesis and it should be closed by a closing parenthesis now we could also have in the same string an opening um, braces and a closing braces a square bracket and a closing square bracket now another valid um, string would be that we have this and then we have some nested um, strings but is this valid let's see so is this uh, valid no why is not this not valid because it uh, starts with a closing bracket and then a braces I mean the parenthesis and then uh, the parenthesis so parenthesis is opened and parenthesis is closed in the same order now we either are um, uh, looking for um, a different open bracket or if it's not an open bracket then it should be of same type as this one why let's see why so I have this closed bracket I have this parenthesis and braces now the first character here is close bracket right so close bracket within the close bracket now i again have these um uh what parenthesis so parenthesis i have now for close bracket i'm actually expecting uh uh for this bracket i'm at expecting a close bracket and for this one i'm expecting a closing parenthesis right so um now i have uh, found this next character and this next character matches this character here right for which is corresponding closing bracket to this one so hence uh, i found the closing bracket for this one now next character here is these curly braces and that's a closing bracket but for uh, before we encounter closing curly braces we should have encountered uh, opening curly braces but we didn't encounter that right so um, this is just existing like on its own and hence we return a false let's try to look at this in more uh, simpler way the way we would approach our problem so what are we doing is we encountered a closing bracket which means that i am i mean opening bracket so i'm expecting a closing bracket now again i encountered a open parenthesis so now i'm expecting a closed parenthesis i encountered closed parenthesis so i found my closed parenthesis right so i have already found this so i'm done with this thing here now i'm left with this one right i could have uh, next when i look at this character in the string it is a closing bracket and closing bracket should actually match it in order to have a correct order it should match the closing bracket that we have here we have already in, uh, found this one so we will look at this and we were expecting a closing bracket but we found a brace it so that is why we return false because it's not a correct um, valid string now let's see uh, if i modify the same um thing same string then we will get something like okay this and then this here 
so if this is the case it is valid because uh, once i encountered a close open bracket i am in looking for close bracket for open parenthesis i am looking for close parenthesis now i encountered the close parenthesis so um this open parenthesis has a close parenthesis so that this part here is valid i am sure about that now i um, encountered her braces so i am looking for a close braces i encountered close braces so the pair this ha already has its pair now um i encountered a close bracket and i was expecting a close bracket here right so which means that i found the pair for this one as well and hence it's valid now let's look for another case here what if it starts from a closing bracket so if that is the case then we are gonna return false because it doesn't have its corresponding pair it should always before encountering a closing bracket we should have always encountered an open bracket and since we didn't encounter that we are gonna return false right so these are the cases we need to keep in mind and we also need to keep in mind that um, we could have encountered uh, we could have a string like this so we have a opening um, bracket closing bracket opening parenthesis closing parenthesis but these are not in order because we encountered a bracket so we are looking for a closing bracket parenthesis so we are looking for now a closing parenthesis so while we move uh, forward we are actually looking for a closing parenthesis first and then a bracket but it is appearing in a reverse order right so that is when we know that uh, it's uh, false uh, it is not a valid string so for that we are actually going to use um, stack because we are always looking for um, the from the end like we encountered um, the bracket that we encountered the type of bracket that we encountered at the end uh, should be the one we are looking for right so that is why we are going to use a stack and we are always going to push the corresponding closing bracket to the stack and um, once we encountered a closing bracket we are going to check at the end of the stack if it matches then we are going to pop that out else we are going to return false okay so now let's try to code our solution so things to keep in mind is we should always write our base case so the base case should be although we are given here that the length is uh, starting from one and ends at 10 to the power of four and it consists of only parentheses so we need to um, we still need to uh, check if the length is equals to zero if that is the case then we are just going to return now now uh, we are gonna need a stack so for each of the character in the string now we are gonna make our comparison so if the character in the string is equals to an opening parenthesis then we are going to push to the stack a closing parenthesis because that is what we uh, expect right if we encounter a close bracket uh, opening bracket we are going to push a closing bracket if we encountered an opening parenthesis i mean braces we are going to push a closing braces else if um, we are gonna take the last element of the um, of our string uh, of our stack because if it is neither of these three then it should be one of the closing braces right one of the closing bracket and we check if the closing bracket is equals to the uh, last um, element last character in the stack so we are gonna pop from the stack and is it equals to if it is not equal to the 
character C then we are gonna return false else it is equal that would mean that we will keep continuing and then the end we are gonna return return some value right what value are we gonna return are we gonna return a true or what um, so let's let's see at the, in this case as well so um, let's suppose we have a string like this okay so I encountered a parenthesis that would mean that I am looking for a closing parenthesis so my stack would have closing parenthesis added in I again encountered one more opening parenthesis now I'm looking for a closing parenthesis now I encountered a closing parenthesis so that would mean that I'm gonna pop all this out and now the string ends right there are no more characters but our stack still has one character here so that means our stack is missing one closing bracket because we have not found pair for this one we found a pair for this one but not for this one right so that is why we return a false so we are gonna check if the stack length is equals to zero if it is equals to zero then we are gonna return true else it would be false now let's try to run our code and look at the solution okay so the Okay, so we actually are gonna need else if here. Now let's try to run our code. Great, let's submit this. Awesome. So let's talk about the time complexity and the space complexity. Since we are using a stack, so the maximum length of the stack could be equals to the maximum length of the string. So in that case, the if the length of string is equals to m, then the space complexity would be O of m. And also we are iterating over each of the characters in the string, right? Um, so in worst case, that would also be O of m. So time complexity and space complexity both are equals to O of log O of m. Thank you for uh, watching till the end. I hope you liked my solution. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you.